based on my games today, 100% losses would take about six months of playing four hours a day to get to your 10 in inch. <laughs> yeah. What game are we talking about? Uh, Eve Online. We're talking about Eve Online. Or Eve Online, without buying skills, it would take almost 30 years to train all skills. Yeah, but you putting that like that doesn't mean anything when in in world of uh, tanks it could take you a lifetime to get all the skills that but that doesn't mean jack shit it's like in world of tanks when i was playing getting the first skill to a hundred percent it took you a little bit of playing but you would get it relatively fast and then it would take you a bit of time to get that skill to be a hundred percent most players had between like one and three skills if they were playing but if you were like hardcore ish and, and playing and actually cared you would get four even five way few detonator underscore cheer but you could have like X eight or ten nobody Here ever has is an that. eve joke for you the oldest computer can be traced back to adam and eve it was an apple but with extremely <laughs> limited memory just one bite Ooh. and then everything crashed not bad not bad not bad not bad, actually. Not bad. Not bad at all, dude. When I was playing what I had a crew with five skills, and it was considered one of the best crew at the time. Yeah, I had a bunch of tanks with four and five. Some even had a particular guy that started sixth. But that's it. Like, you don't go further than five unless you've continued playing for years and years and years. And then maybe, I don't know, you have six, maybe seven, but you're never going to get the top. And if you calculate and then tell me, oh, you would, it would take you 30 years to do it, that doesn't mean jack shit. Premium, no premium. Because some skills are almost basically not meant to be reached by anybody. And some skills are only there to be eventually reached by people that play half their life. I have one with five skills on the commander and two gears. Yeah, exactly. But you can get to like three, four, five with if it's a game you enjoy and you play it for years, right? But if somebody pops in chat and says, Oh, it will take you 30 years to get all skills. That doesn't mean much when nobody's gonna get them anyway. Unless, I don't know, somebody's been playing since the game is out. And now, like, I don't know. When did the game got released? 2003? So what, 17, 18 years later? If he's been hardcore grinding the entire time and you're like, oh, yep, yeah, he's got it. Or he's got most of them. Sure. Shame. It's about the one or two percent per skill level. Some of the hard ones take like 40 or 60 days to complete. Real life days. Also, it's that kind of game. It's that kind of game. Mm. Does it have mini transactions? Does it have like Oh, if you buy diamonds and you spend 300 diamonds, this can be researched automatically. Is it that kind of game? Not at all? Well, somebody says you can buy things, but... 
Because I hate that system. That's how uh, mobile games work. Like, I, I, like, few years ago, well, more than few years ago, but let's say a few years ago, I discovered a game online. I'm sure some of you heard about it. There were, um, what's it called? Uh, adverts about the game at a time everywhere. It was called Imperia Online. I loved the game. I think it was a beautiful game. It was a browser game. Loved it. But that's how the game was designed. It's real time. And you literally need to, to buy diamonds in order for to speed up process. So if you're a guy that has a big wallet and doesn't give a shit. And you just pay stuff. On first day, you can be like billion years ahead of everybody. Like, as, as much money as you're willing to pour in, that's how far you're gonna get. Everybody can get as far as they like, but money will get you everything. Like, literally, there's no end. You could literally spend, I don't know, millions and have everything. It would cost you fortune, Fort Knox, but is, you just keep buying diamonds and you just keep using them to, to you know, accelerate stuff. That's, that's what kind of kills the game. Because you just get bullied by people who have more than you and you can't enjoy. And it's a multiplayer game, which is 24-7. So you literally need to have somebody guard your account or when you're, when you're not, that's got to be the most fucking accurate Bismarck in the world. And when you're like not looking, somebody just attacks you and they just murder you. They, they kill your army and they, they rob you of your, of your gold and you're like, well, fuck. And then they do that like every night when you go to sleep because they have spies and shit. I don't know. It's like, it's a great game. It was a beautiful game. I loved it. But eventually you just realize that if you want to play it and stay in any shape or form competitive, even though we were not really playing it for competitiveness, we were playing it because we enjoyed it, eventually we just quit. Both me and my dad were actually playing it. And then it's like dedication is insane. And on top of all of that, it's, it's just money. With Eve, you can literally just stay in safe areas. That's good. That's good. Hey, Chaos. That's good. There's no safe area here. Titan pilots. They can't dock in a station, so if they log off, the multi-billion Titan just floats about in space. Okay, so I'm guessing that's one of the high super and late rich overpowered things but at that time I'm, I'm guessing you have alliance and a bunch of people that are gonna watch it in shifts just like you press four bro don't 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 tell me how to play the game please pressing four right now would literally do nothing like Literally nothing. I need to get closer. Maybe that Bismarck if he continues pushing. Go watch some Rooks and Kings videos. You'll get hyped as fuck. Rooks and Kings. What is that about? I have no idea where that sin up is looking. Not at me. Good. I wonder if the time that they drop the bombs is different based on how far away you're ordering the strike from. Do you know this, Chad? Ouch. 
Like, if I order the strike here, do they come faster than if I order it on max range? I actually haven't tried that. Dude, I've been really, like, hammered in this game. Battleships really hurt of all calibers. I don't know if 356 would hurt, but you're a tier 8. You're mostly gonna be fighting higher than 356. They just go through the nose. Even Bismarck is just like, fuck you. Look at this. They just did, like, 10k through the nose to me. Fucking 26 millimeter bullshit armor. Oh, dude, he survives. Oh, that's a Moggy, actually, not Bismarck. HE is extremely weak, yeah. Extremely weak. It's kind of pathetic, actually. But what's the point in shooting AP when it's not like AP is great? It's it's just not gonna do that. Not gonna do good pen or anything. You just shoot HE and hope for some damage and fire. If you want a video that describes Eve, do a YouTube search for Enemy this is really sunk. Eve. Well, I don't want to know too much about the game. That's the thing. I want the game to be somewhat of a fun experience of learning stuff, you know? Where is he gonna turn? Away? Okay, decent drop. Got a fire. <sighs> drop time looks the same no matter the distance? Okay, good to know. Okay, I really need to turn away. Hey, we're actually kind of winning this game. Just don't want to get blocked by Normandy. Jesus, can I get a Citadel maybe? Just maybe? Are you kidding? How long do you, how low do you want me to aim? Wow, just we impossible. Wit is great, it's worth the watch. I didn't say it was a bad video and that's not what that's why I'm not gonna watch it I'm just I want the game to be as big of a surprise to me as it can You know, I don't want to learn the game before playing the game I think learning is gonna be part of the tutoring the mentoring the fun Okay, I'm gonna turn this way What the? Hello? Where's the... Where the fuck is the reticle? What the? Uh... Oh, oh, okay. Uh... It locks as well? Oh my god, okay. I didn't know that. That's ridiculous. Why did they... Why did they unify the zoom for the ship and this? It bugs me. 
You're gonna turn. And fuck you. Now you turn. God damn it. Still might clip him a bit. A bit. Yeah, just enough to get the uh, fire. Oh, that's the last guy. Wait, he's got 356? Oh my fucking god, even he can murder me from the front. <laughs> uh, this is just sad. This is just sad. Oh, 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 rear turret, rear turret for the win. No, 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 I kill you. I kill you. Oh, you die. Okay. 340! Yeah, that's not even 356. It's 340s. And they just murdered me like that. My god. Oh, shit. Four kills. 105,000 damage. Yeah, armor is crap. Guns are kind of crap. And these... These bombs, I still haven't managed to land them, like, really, really properly on the target. Most people are just zigzagging and then you have to predict because it's like 15 seconds between the launch, which is quite significant. It's like firing with a battleship from something that's super far away. And he can just dodge. Um, so, yeah, we, we haven't really got a chance... To see the full potential of these bombs, unfortunately. But, uh... Yeah. Disappointing Dutch cruiser. The only one that I played so far. But I suspect the lower tiers are not better, just worse. I would say disappointing. Could be a lot better ship. Ah, just a pitch. Well, I guess we finally get to see it. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck was that? <laughs>